हेलो गाइस टुडे इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ट्रायंगल यू कैन सी हियर आई हैव रिटन अ थ्योरम हियर व्हिच सेज एंगल्स ऑपोजिट टू इक्वल साइड्स ऑफ एन आइसोसेलेस ट्रायंगल आर इक्वल आई हैव ड्रॉन अ ट्रायंगल हियर व्हिच इज आइसोसेलेस ट्रायंगल इन व्हिच टू साइड्स आर इक्वल इट हैज बीन गिवन दैट ए बी इज इक्वल टू ए बी इज इक्वल टू ए सी and what you need to prove you need to prove angle b should be equal to angle c you need to prove angle b should be equal to angle c so how you will proceed for this take triangle adb and triangle adc you can see here that side ad is common in both of these triangles and it has been given that ab is equal to ac it has been given that ab is equal to ac and ad is equal to ad in both of the these triangles this is given and this is common what more you have to find out here to prove that that these two triangles are congruent triangles so you need to see if these two angles are equal to prove angle b is equal to angle c you can see that this is perpendicular on base c which is bisecting angle a because these two sides are equal to each other so when you draw a perpendicular from vertex a to the base bc you you will see that this is dividing angle a into two equal halves so which suggest you that angle bad is equal to angle cad so when these two sides are equal and its included angle are equal so what you can see what you can say you can say that from the sas rule from sas rule side angle side rule triangles are congruent triangles are congruent so when triangles are congruent what what this suggest you it suggest you that these two triangles will be similar which means their size and their shape will be same so angle b will be equal to angle c because these two triangles has to be similar that's why their angles will be equal and all their sides will be this side will be equal to this side ab will be equal to ac bd will be equal to dc and as you already know about the angles so based on this theorem and the theorem i have discussed i'll be taking examples in the next video thank you